choosing the appropriate technique for you that will be based on the breast size and shape, the size and position of your areolas, the degree of breast sagging, and the skin quality and elasticity as well as the amount of extra skin. We have different techniques where we can choose from. First is the crescent lift that results in a semicircular scar that is going to be in the upper aspect of the areola. This lift may provide us up to 2 cm of elevation of the areola. It is best for small lifts or in cases where symmetry may be improved by adjusting one or both areolas. The second technique is the circumareolar lift that results in a scar that is camouflaged around the outer aspect of the areola and it allows us to adjust the size and position of the areolas but doesn't provide much lift for the lower position of the breast. The third technique is the lollipop lift. This lift has a scar that is concealed around the circumference of the areola as well as a vertical scar on the lower portion of the breast. This procedure gives us a significant amount of lift to the lower portion of the breast as well as the nipple. It allows to transform a droopy and boxy breast into a round and perky breast. And the fourth technique is the anchor lift. This lift will leave an inverted T scar that is essentially the lollipop with an additional incision underneath the breast. This procedure allows us to maximize the amount of lift and treat substantial droopiness of the breast. This technique is most common used for women who have a large amount of excess breast skin, typically after significant changes in breast size following breastfeeding or weight loss. The best way for the patients to understand their option is through a complete consultation with us at Premium Care. In our approach to breast lift, communicating with our patient is key.